Welcome to the Knowing Pod- Co- Podcast. Welcome to the Knowing God Podcast by Hide and Seek Ministries. Great for kids and grown ups. Welcome to episode number 48 of the Knowing God podcast for kids. My name is Erin, and hello, boys. Hi. Hi. We have Aiden and Grayson helping out today. Okay, boys, what do I have in my hand? What is this? A piece of paper. A piece of paper. Okay, so do you remember how to make a paper airplane? I never knew how to. You never knew how? Aiden, do you know how? Mm. I once knew how, but I forgot. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to show you how to make a paper airplane. I'm going to fold it down the middle and open it back up. We're going to fold one side like this, and then the other side, and then we're going to put it back together, and then fold down like this on this side, and fold like this, and ta-da! What is it? It's a paper airplane. Okay, so you know what I just did? I showed you an example of how to make a paper airplane. And that's what we're going to be talking about today is different kinds of examples. There are all kinds of examples in this world. Aiden, you just showed Grayson an example the other day when you guys were outside in the backyard and you showed him an example of how to throw a football. Do you remember when you were teaching him how to play football? Yeah. Yeah, you were showing him examples. We can show examples of how to do a math problem or how to do a sport or how to fold a paper airplane or all kinds of things. Sometimes when we learn how to do something new or when we're trying to understand something, it's easiest to learn when we see an example of how to do it. But did you know that people can be an example too? How can people be an example? Well, that's a good question. Let's listen to some verses in the Bible. Are you ready? In John 12, 15, Jesus said, For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done. And in 1 Peter 2, 21, it says, To this you were called because Christ suffered for you, leaving an example that you should follow in his steps. And in 1 John 2, 6, it says, Those who claim to belong to him, to Jesus, must live as Jesus did. So if you should live as Jesus lived, it's like saying we should follow his example, right? Right. Yeah. So Jesus came from heaven and lived on earth as a human being and gave us an example to follow. We can read about Jesus in the Bible, and then we can use those examples to know how to live our own lives. Kind of like I gave you an example on how to fold this paper airplane. Jesus has given you examples of how to pray and how to make good choices and how to treat other people and all kinds of things. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Well, let me get another piece of paper. Okay. I have another piece of paper. Are you ready? I'm going to give you another example. Okay. Okay. I'm going to fold like this, and then like this, and this, and this. Okay. What does it look like? Does it look like a paper airplane? No. Uh, No. (laughs) Do you think that's a really bad example? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. It was a really horrible example. There are all kinds of examples in this world. And Jesus gives us a perfect example, doesn't he? Yeah. But not all examples are perfect and not all examples are good. In fact, a lot of examples are really bad, like this airplane I just did. (laughs) Okay, so we said that people can be an example, right? Right. And we know that there are a lot of people in the Bible. And we also know that the Bible is God's word. It's God's words written down in a book. So would you believe me if I said that there are some really bad examples in the Bible? Do you think that's true? There are some bad examples in God's word. No. Do you think that's true, Grayson? No. No? Okay. Let me explain more of what I mean. Okay? Maybe it'll make sense. 
let's talk about a few people in the Bible and see what kind of examples they are. Okay, Grayson, you remember David and Goliath, right? Right. Do you think Goliath was a good example or a bad example? Bad example. A bad example. Was he following God? Definitely not. Definitely not. He was a bad example, don't you think? Mm -hmm. But what about David? Was David a, a bad example or a good example? Good example. Yeah, when he killed Goliath, he was definitely a good example of having faith and belief that God could do what seemed completely impossible. So listen to what God says about David in Acts 13, 22. God said, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. And in Acts 7, 46, it said David enjoyed God's favor. And do you, do you guys remember the book of Psalms in the Bible? Yeah. Yeah. David wrote at least 75 of those Psalms. And those Psalms talk about how David loved God and how he was worshiping him and trusted in him. So with me saying all of that, would you guys believe me if I told you that David was also a bad example? Yeah. You think so? Was David a bad example? Well, what do you mean? <laughs> okay, well, let's see what I mean. In 2 Samuel 11, David was king. But one day while he was king, he saw a woman who he thought was very beautiful. Do you remember the story, Aiden? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what did David do when he saw this beautiful woman? Do you remember? He killed the husband so he could marry her. You're right. David lied and he made some evil plans and he had the woman's husband murdered and then he married her. Does that sound like a good example or a bad example? Bad example. A bad example. God chose David to be king and it says that David was after God's own heart and he had favor from God and God blessed him. He was actually a bad example at this moment in his life. Do you remember Moses? Yeah. Yeah. What do you remember about Moses? Um, he parted the Red Sea. Yeah, God helped him part the Red Sea, and he helped the Israelites escape from Egypt with all the plagues. You remember that? Mm -hmm. But in Numbers chapter 20, it says Moses disobeyed God. He hit a rock two times instead of speaking to it like God told him to do. Does that sound like a good example or a bad example? Bad example. Yeah, it's a bad example to disobey God. Do you remember Abraham? Yes. Grayson, have you been reading about Abraham? Yes. Yes. So when God told Abraham to go to a new land, he said, I want you to go and leave all of your family and go to this new land. But did Abraham leave all of his family? No. No. He was with Lot. Yeah, he brought his nephew Lot with him. That's right. So does that sound like a, a good example? No. Not completely, right? Yeah. yeah. He did partly what God said, but he brought someone with him. Yeah, so he kind of did what God said, but kind of not, right? Mm hmm Okay. And Abraham had a son. Do you remember Abraham's son's name? Um, uh, Isaac. Yes, his son's name was Isaac. And then Isaac had two sons named Jacob and Esau. And remember, Esau was the hairy one. Do you remember what Jacob did? To try to trick his father, Isaac? He lied yeah. to think he was Esau. Yeah, he lied to his father and put hair on his arms so he could get a blessing. Does that sound like a good example? No. No. But we know that Jacob was a big part in the history of the Bible, and God loved him, and he found favor with God. But he still was a bad example that time, wasn't he? Yeah. Do you remember Solomon? Solomon was David's son, and he was also king, and he was the wisest man who ever lived. Do you remember him? Yeah, David's son. Yeah, and in 1 Kings eleven four, it says, As Solomon grew older, his wives turned his heart toward other gods, and he didn't follow the Lord his God with all his heart. There are all kinds of things that people did in the Bible that could be 
said that they were bad examples. You could keep going on and on and coming up with a list of things. So what does this mean for us today? We're talking about all of these bad examples. So what, what can we learn from this? Well, I want to I wanna talk about four things real quick before we go, okay? The first thing is everyone needs Jesus. God gives everyone a choice, just like he gave Adam and Eve a choice in the Garden of Eden, remember? Mm-hmm. He does not force anyone to obey him. And so when we read the Bible, we're reading about the lives of people who lived in history. And these people are not perfect because there's no perfect person, is there? No. The only perfect person to ever live on this earth was who? Jesus. Jesus, that's right. And so if God were to wait and say, I'm only going to use perfect people, then he would still be waiting, wouldn't he? Yeah. He wouldn't be able to use anyone because no one is perfect. One thing we can learn from these bad examples is that no matter who you are, we all need Jesus. All of us do. We all need to be saved from our sin. So the second thing I want to say is that we can learn from the examples in the Bible. Whether they're good examples or bad examples, we can choose to follow them or not follow them and not make the same mistakes that other people did. So that's another thing that we can do is learn from those examples. Okay, so everyone needs Jesus. We can learn from the examples. The third thing is you are also an example. Even at seven years old, Grayson, you are an example. Sometimes it's easy to forget that not everyone in the world believes in Jesus like you do. So the things that you do and the choices you make are setting an example for others. When you do things to follow the Bible and follow Jesus and do what the Bible says, you are setting an example so others can see what Jesus is like by looking at the things that you do. They can see a glimpse of Jesus through your example. So it's always important to remember that you are always setting an example. And we should always try to be a good example. Okay. And the last thing, the fourth thing is don't let other bad examples discourage you. So in your lifetime, you are going to see other Christians, other people who say they believe in Jesus, and you're going to see them be a bad example. Just like we talked about some people in the Bible who are also bad examples, you're still going to see Christians in your life today be a bad example. And we can't let that teach us the wrong things about God. We can't learn the wrong things about God by looking at the bad examples. Does that make sense? Let me explain what I mean. Let's just say that we're going to church and There's the pastor of the church, and we really like the pastor, and we trust in him and listen to what he says. But one day that pastor makes a really big mistake. Let's just say he steals money from the church, or he, I don't know, he lies, or he does something bad, and it's a bad example. Now, some people could look at that pastor's bad example and think, oh, is this what being a Christian is really like? I don't want to be a Christian anymore. I don't want to go to church anymore because they were really bothered and they were hurt by that bad example of the pastor. And so they look at what the pastor did and they think, I don't, I don't like this. And, the, and they start to learn things, the wrong things about God. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And they let the, that bad example discourage them. And we've got to, we've got to realize that no one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes, and we always have to learn things about God from what the Bible says, not from what people do, because no one is perfect, and we can't let those bad mistakes discourage us, okay? Okay. Okay, so everyone needs Jesus. We can learn from the examples. You are an example, and we can't let bad examples discourage us. Sound good? Yep. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today. You can go to our website, hideandseekministries.com slash podcast and click on the yellow box and you can get a free printable worksheet 
to review what we've talked about today. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope that you join us again on the next episode of the Knowing God podcast for kids. Bye. Bye. So, Gray, we were talking about examples today. Mm-hmm. Can you give me an example of a of how to make up a joke? How do you do it? What What do you have to do to make up a joke? Well, I just think of something, and then, well, um, I just kind of go along with. <laughs> so, <laughs> so sometimes when you ask a question in a joke, do you know the answer when you ask it? No. No, you just make it up as you go. Yeah, oh. and then when I sit, when I'm at the ending point, when I make up the answer, I just try to do something funny or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it always works? Do you think they're always funny? I don't know. You don't know. I Depends on what you think oh. or somebody else. Okay, let's try it. Okay, tell me a joke. Um. Uh. What did the cow say to the other cow? Mm, I don't know. So do you know the answer yet? No? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Let me know when you know the answer. What did the cow say to the other cow? Have you ever got milked before? Because I'm not sure if I have. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Was that successful? Was it a good joke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're laughing. Because oh, I'm laughing. That's true. I am laughing. I think you're pretty funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs>